Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the cookie cutter effect in Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Okay, so on my desktop, I've got this folder and inside this folder, I've got this one video clip which I've downloaded from Pixabay. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description. Let's go ahead and open up Magic's Movie Edit Pro and we drag and drop that video clip onto the timeline. Okay, let's go ahead and click on this video clip. It should turn this yellow color and it's just basically this sunrise clip. We can see all this sun rising and we want to add this cookie cutter effect. So let's click on this clip, go to effects and inside effects underneath the video effects section here, you see cookie cutter. So let's click on that and then click on apply effect. So we have various options in here. As default, it's going to add a circle and we can use different uh, shapes here like oval, we've got oval side, we've got diamonds and so forth. But you can experiment with these. I'm going to stick with the circle. So there's two different methods. There's cut away, all but section, and then there's cut away section. So you can reverse this logic using this tool here. We're going to leave it on this default, and you can feather the edge. And you need, I think feathering the edge is a wise thing to do. You can feather it quite extreme, but I think if we feather it out like this much, it doesn't have that sharp edge around the side. Now there's these colors up here, RGB colors, and these are for the border. So when I add a border, I can change the color of that border if I choose to do so by using these tools up here. You just left click and then drag up and down to change the colors. I don't really want this border, so I'm gonna remove this and get rid of the border. You can also repeat this. So if I set it to two repeat, or three or four or five, I think two looks pretty cool because it kind of looks like you're looking through binoculars, right? You can change the direction of the repeat as well here as well. So you can repeat them upwards or downwards on the X and Y. You can also change the size here like this. So this will allow us to change the positioning so we can have them scroll across like this or go up and down as well. Let's, you can click this button on the side to reset the values here as well. So you can click any of these buttons and they'll reset the value. So maybe we'll do a little animation of this, um, these uh, circular shapes, right? Almost like them popping out like this. So you could use this some, some sort of transition. Maybe if we leave it around this size, it'll look like binoculars looking through some sort of binoculars. So let's set the size all the way down to zero. We're going to move across the timeline to the beginning frame and add a keyframe here. So we see one keyframe here. And we're going to move across to maybe, let's say around five seconds. So let's go back a little bit. This will be five seconds here. We can see five seconds, see five seconds up here as well. And then we'll add another keyframe and we'll change the size. And we'll set the size just so that they join in the middle to about here kind of looks like you're looking through binoculars now so if we move to the back of the or to the beginning of the timeline and click play we'll see these start to grow out like this and they'll stop at a certain point now it looks like we're looking through binoculars and we're looking at this sort of sunset so this is how i use the cookie cutter effect you can experiment with it you can change the shape so if we went forward a little bit more we can take it to a diamond shape and then that same transition will be applied but with diamonds right so you don't have to redo the keyframing. Uh, you can just select any shape from here and you'll have these different styles uh, applied, right? You just you just need to go and experiment with it now. But I kind of like the circle or the oval is pretty good as well. Diamond's fine. It's just down to you to be creative now. So you can change the settings in here. I'll leave you to go and experiment with it. Just remember to add keyframes if you want to animate uh, the actual cookie cutter effect itself. Let's go ahead and minimize this. We'll close this folder. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.